Hey guys, it's your girl Indie Indie Baby, and today I am going to the um, doctor's office to get my breast size to see how many cc's I want in my breast. About a week and a half ago, I no, about a week ago, yeah, about a week ago, I went to go um, get my blood drawn over there so they knew like my blood complete blood count and um, I believe my cholesterol. I'm not too sure, but. Yeah, so I'm doing all the um things beforehand until my surgery date, which is on Tuesday, October 6th. It's going to be like, today's Friday, so like in four days. So yeah, I'm just keeping y'all updated and yeah. So I took my um shirt and my bra off and I'm in this robe now. She's gonna come back with like the sizers and stuff, so stay tuned. Those are say um those are uh silicone. I'm gonna be getting saline. So now I'm in another bra and shirt that they gave me. So yeah. I had to teach part and second part. Okay. So this is 500, okay? 500, so I'm just going to slide it in, okay? So the implant's going to go under your muscle, okay? Mm -hmm. So your muscle is like this. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get that volume all throughout here, okay? And the day of surgery, he kind of marks you. So he'll mark you like up here, so you'll kind of get an idea of where that volume is. And is this like high profile? All of the implants are high profile. Okay. okay. We're going to do nothing less, because they're not looking. Okay. And then this one is 600, okay? That's 600? And this is 550? No, 500, 600. Oh, 500 and 600. Wow, they look <laughs> nice and neat. Okay. okay. So a bigger impact instant makes you look slimmer. Yeah, I want, I like the 600. Okay. Do you think, like, is this like a pretty good estimate of what it'll look like? Yeah, so right now, because it's on top of your breast tissue, it's kind of more like, uh-huh out here uh-huh once it's inside the body you see that volume and it's big enough of an implant that once everything settles it fills that lower portion of the of the breast and it also the way that he opens the pocket he opens it in a way to where it's in sitting in a natural position and do you think it'll like be more i like it more filled up here where it looks like i don't want it like yeah so you'll have to go with a decent size implant to get that volume and what do you mean by, by decent size? like 600 uh -huh. type and with an overfill, because when we do an overfill, it gives you that more volume at the top. What's overfill, like the definition? Overfill like is, so say you like 600. Mm -hmm. So we would fill up the saline implant up to 600 and overfill it with 25 cc's more of uh -huh. saline or 50 cc's more of saline. Yeah. So by overfilling it, you're getting that extra volume here at the top. Can I... What? This is 650. Can I try 650? Yes. Okay. So with these, it's kind of hard to see the volume that you're going to get. Mm -hmm. But this is just an idea on what you'll think of the size. So the bigger the implant, the wider it gets. Wider is in like... Mm -hmm. I mean, even that looks good. Yeah, I think. I think yeah, we should I'll just like, do six hundred with the with the overfill. Okay, so six hundred overfill to six fifty. Yeah. So you can get that volume. Do you have seven hundred? Just so I can like yeah. see seven hundred. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is six fifty. No, no, six hundred. And then this is six fifty. Can I see the difference between 600 and 700? Yes, this is a 650, right? So yeah. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. So this is 700. This is 600. Bigger than my butt. <laughs> Is it 
and they look like this. Sweaty. No, it's okay. Should I like? Yeah, there you go. Okay. So just remember, your muscle kind of comes like right here. Okay. My muscle where? Right here. Okay. So you'll have like that volume like nice mm -hmm. up here. The sizes just kind of don't give you that. They just kind of show you how it'll look like once they're in. So this is 700? 700. Okay. Mm. And can I look at the 600 now? Mm -hmm. I think I might go with the 600. I think, yeah, I think so. Um, in the beginning, naturally the implant, I mean the implant, the muscle wants to pull the implant up. So they're high uh -huh. in the beginning, okay? And then it drops. Yes, after it just takes time. Yes. Like about um, how long will it take? I told to patients give it three months. It happens sooner than that, but I just kind of give patients that time frame because if I say, oh, two weeks, then they expect in two weeks for it to be already completely dropped. But for sure, like after a year, that's... Oh, oh, way before the year. Okay, way before the year. Um, and then one week after surgery, you'll come back, you'll see me. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to do the massages. The massages one week after surgery are going to be your best friend. The more that you do those massages, the better they're going to look. Okay. Today is October, Monday, October 5th, and I just received a call from the plastic surgery place, the doctor's office, and they told me I'm scheduled tomorrow for 9 a.m. and to come 15 minutes prior to my actual appointment time, which is 8.45 a.m., and they said no makeup, no jewelry, no eating before, no, no eating after 12 a.m., and then to remove my nail polish but I asked if I could just like remove the index because this is where I believe they're gonna take like I think the the pulse of I don't know like you put your finger in the thing and like they just monitor you through there so I just wanted to keep y'all updated and I already picked up my medication from Costco today it was let me see how much it costs so the total cost of all of my medications were $40.87 and I use this app called GoodRx. It gave me coupons on all of my medications and I'll probably show you all the prices of how much it costs before I use the coupon and how much it was after I use my coupon. So this is after I use my coupons. So this is my Cephalaxin, which is a substitute for Keyflex. It was ten twenty four, but with the coupon, the good RX discount card, I only paid nine ninety two. This is my Montelosca sodium is substitution for Singulair, and it was seventeen forty eight, but with the discount card, it was only ten eighty five. Sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce these, but. Um, this is going to be my um, oxycodone substitute for Percocet. I think that's like the same thing. Um, it was $14.59 and I only paid $10.77. Then my promethazine hydrochloride, which was $25.98, but with my discount, I only paid $9.33. So I did my math and I added everything up and everything without the discount would have been $68.29. But with the discount, I saved $27.42. So I only paid $40.87, but this is how much I saved, which is quite a lot, if you ask me. Good morning, America. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so right now it is 7.34 a.m. And I'm literally going to get bigger breasts in less than two and a half hours. 
So I'm just wearing a baggy shirt along with some sweatpants. Yeah. This is the fit of the day. I'm probably going to throw some Crocs on as well. With some socks, probably. Yeah, I'm probably put some socks on because I'm sure they're gonna make me take off my shoes and stuff on the um table. I will keep y'all updated. Well, I will try to keep y'all updated. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to keep y'all updated. So right now I have to like use it. I want to be able to use it before surgery. So. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that. It's actually kind of hard for me right now since I haven't, like, drunk in any water in order to, like, get that moving, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I will keep y'all updated. So, I have this on to cover my hair, and then I have this on, and then I believe I'm going to put this on my shoes, and then um, my stuff in the bag. I will go ahead and get that done and then I'll keep y'all updated. So I have these on my Crocs. And my sweats and this gown. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna have my pictures taken like right there. So yeah. So I'm editing my vlog right now and I'm gonna insert the only picture I have of me during surgery. It was on the doctor's Instagram page. So I was able to like screenshot and take it from his story. So I'm gonna insert that right now. It is very graphic. So it's just a picture though. So just be aware for that. Sick. She can take the Finnergan for nausea. The only thing is, the Finnergan, it makes you so sleepy. It really knocks you out. So if she needs to take it, break it in half and break it in half again. So if she takes it, she can't drive pretty much. Oh, no. Okay. Mm -mm. No driving. Too. This is big. Yeah, it's big and they've got to fall. Right now, they kind of look like bullet boobs. But when they fall and settle, they're going to look good. Okay. Oh, uh, my God. Gigantic. 700. So, so it was 700 and 700? Uh-huh. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like 695 or 700? You know what I'm saying? Like, normally both, they're sisters, not twins. Yes. Nope. They're both 700, I think. Did you guys do the overbuild? Yeah. Okay. So she, um. What's on her neck? Just baited on. It's like a surgical cleaner. Oh my God. Okay, so the antibiotic search tonight with dinner. When you get home, you're gonna give her the, the Percocet. And if she needs the Finergan because she's nauseous, you can break oh it in half God. and break it in half again. Just give her a taste of it so that it doesn't knock her out. Cause we don't want her, like when you get home, you can feed her and give her a pain pill and let her take a big nap to sleep uh. some of this off. When she wakes up after that, we don't want her sleeping all the time. We want her up moving every okay. couple hours okay uh, she has an incision under both boob on the actual skin is what's called a steri strip i don't mm. want her to take that off if it falls off it's fine but she needs to change the dressing daily signs of in symptoms of infection oh, my my. drainage huh? any bright red like continuous bleeding um fever case, chills call us immediately, immediately okay, okay. Um, the of the arm, stuff like that. She can lift them, but just real slowly. No heavy lifting, like anything more than like a half gallon of milk. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, she keeps on that bra all the time, except when she showers. She can shower tomorrow when she gets in the shower. Keep her back to the shower. Let the soap and water run mm. over you. Pat dry. Put a dressing back on. You need to change that dressing daily. Okay. And in your hand, there's um, at the top of it is a when we want to see her next week. Our phone number's at the top. Hmm. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to keep y'all updated. So it's like 8.05 p.m. right now. And I got home, I believe, around 11.40 a.m. And um, as soon as I got home, it was a struggle to walk to the um, living room from the car. So as soon as I got to the living room, it felt like I was about to throw up. And I did end up throwing up into this little baggie that they gave me. It's like a the round it's like a round circle that you get in the hospital. It's like round and then it's like a long plastic bag, a long thick plastic bag. And I ended up throwing up in that. It wasn't much. It was just like a good like one and then two. It was like a good blah and then blah and then I was good. I think I got like a little nauseous from the um from the medicine they gave me along with the car ride i believe so yeah it hurts really bad when i like sit up and move my arms but for the most part i got this like it's not that bad but it's like literally it's it's painful but like mentally i got this like i just need to take my time with getting up doing certain things i have all my medications labeled not labeled but i have like sticky notes underneath my medication and like the times i need to take it um and stuff like that i'll show y'all what it looks like okay so i can't actually show y'all what the medication looks like on the sticky notes and stuff I'll probably show y'all what it looks like like once the bottle's removed off of the sticky notes because it has my information on there and everything. So this is an inserted video clip and they basically look like this. I labeled it in like when to take it and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's on the bottle as well, but I like how it's just on the sticky note and all side by side and I don't have to like, you know, turn the bottle just to read it. And I just like put the bottle, pill bottles like on top of each sticky note in the middle so yep I have this chair right here to help me get in and out of bed so I'm leaving water in like good reachable places I have my charger cord wrapped around this so it doesn't fall got some napkins right there and a banana I just finished eating I ate some um tortilla soup from chick-fil-a and I ate some applesauce as well with a cup of orange juice. Before I forget, I'm going to tell y'all exactly how the um, surgery went. So as soon as I got there, I took, they did a urine sample and then I was able to use it. Num number two, I was able to use the number two and then was able to like empty my system all the way. I wasn't able to use it when I woke up because like my body needs time to like, you know, adjust to that. So I went from taking the urine sample to the room and then in the room I changed into the gown and that um hairnet and this all that other stuff and then um from there I um went to the OR and once I was in the OR they went ahead and put the IV in me and then within about like I want to say a good seven minutes five to seven minutes I was pretty much knocked out into my own world it was like I don't know it was it was like a little like I was like in a dream I don't know and then um I think I believe I woke up like once or twice during the surgery and then I was like hearing them talking and everything and then I was like talking to them as well like I don't know it was pretty funny I think they were ignoring me but like I was just like yapping I was like I was like I, I could see I don't know it was just like a lot of I was like drunk it felt like i was drunk talking like i don't know like i'm excited to um wake up with no boobies just stuff like that i don't know and then she the anesthesiologist the lady who does the anesthesia um she injected a little bit more into me so i was able to knock out again and then everything the procedure happened i want to say it was about like an hour and 20 minutes I believe um, they said they put 700 cc's in both, which it looks good. I can't wait till it like drops and then like, I'm sure it'll look amazing. But 
yeah i i wanted to do a seven six hundred over six hundred cc with an overfill but i ended up doing 700 cc's in total i believe it was like using the 600 bag and then he overfilled it to 700 so i'm excited about that like it looks really good um i'll show y'all when i'm able to like show y'all but yeah overall it was everything happened really fast and when everything was done it took me a moment to like gather my thoughts and then like to actually be conscious of what's going on around me i wasn't all the way conscious though but i was able to like recognize what was happening like i was mentally there if that makes sense and then they rolled me in a wheelchair to the car and then i got in the car and then yeah but everything for the most part it wasn't that painful i didn't really feel anything besides like when I woke up a few times, I think I woke up once or twice. I want to say it was once. And then the second time was when they were practically done with surgery. And then um, for the, I only felt like tugging and like, I don't know. I heard the zapper when they were like, I don't know. And I felt like the scraping and stuff. I don't know. But for the most part, everything went well. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to end it here. So I will keep y'all updated once. Hey guys, so today is Thursday, October 8th. It is officially day two of um, post-surgery, post-op, post-operation, post-op, I think. And this is what they look like. I took um, this off yesterday and did some cleaning and stuff. And I realized after taking this off that this side is more um, lower than this side. This side, the right side, this is my right side right here. It's a little more swollen and higher up, like right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like higher up right here. And then on this side, it's a little more low. Let me sit up. I just took my pain medication like I believe 15 minutes ago so it's not as painful getting up anymore after like taking your pain medication obviously um, just to remind y'all they're both 700 cc's and they made the ins the um, doctor made the incision underneath both breasts okay And I still have my tape on. So I feel a lot better now. I mean, it's still painful and stuff, but I can, for the most part, move around pretty easily. So yeah, I just wanted to keep y'all updated. This is how they look like. This is how the girls look like. I love them. When I took it off, it was like, it looked like in the video of um when the lady was talking about how they look like bullet boobs i think what she meant was like they look like bulletproof boobs like you know how iron man has like the bulletproof chest i think it's iron man but yeah it's like it's really high up up here and my nipple is like way down here right here so once they drop I believe it'll take like a good three months to truly see the um, results of how it looks like after it drops. But once it drops, it'll look more natural and sit more naturally. So I'm super excited for that. But till then, um, I'm just going to be waiting. Yeah, this is how they look like. I love them. This bra has no padding. It's like um really thin. It's not really thin, but it's thin with like a good quality type thin. But yeah. I'm actually really happy that I have 700 cc's in here. Um, They used a 600 cc bag and then they overfilled it to 700 cc's. So it looks amazing i love them i just cannot wait until they drop but yeah 
this is how they look. You see how it's more lower right here? And then on this side, it's a lot more higher. I don't know if y'all can see that. So this concludes my breast augmentation vlog part one. I will probably post part two in like two weeks after I've like done some massaging and like pre-recorded some um, footage for the part two. And then I will post that in about two weeks. So go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications for my channel so y'all can be on the lookout for part two. And then I'm also going to do a part three. And in the part three, I'm going to show y'all how I look like in certain clothing pieces without the breast augmentation, which is my reg my regular breast. And then show y'all how it looks like with my new breast in the clothing pieces that I chose out. I pre-recorded like at least, I think it's eight different pieces of clothing to um, show y'all like how it looks before and after. So yeah, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and found it helpful. Also comment down below why you're watching this video, whether or not you're gonna get a breast augmentation or you know someone who is going to get a breast augmentation. But yeah, this is how they look like, 700 cc's. They're huge, but I believe it matches with my body type very well. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two and part three.